Four or five from the free throw line. And then again, Toronto will get possession. Even though Green had possession when he called timeout, you lose possession with the excessive timeout. Now they just have to inbound the ball, and the celebration will be underway. And it should be a celebration both ways. This is the last time at Oracle Arena. And if I'm this crowd, I'm standing and appreciating what this team has done. Lowry has it. Throws it into Leonard. That's it. It's over. The Raptors win. Yeah, There's a new a NBA. Oh, they call a foul. <laughs> Leonard saying the ball should go in. As some of the fans now heading for the exits, the celebration already underway at Scotiabank Arena. It says 0 0 on the clock. They called the foul as the ball was being released in. So. Which would be an away from the play foul. Now the ball was already in flight, I think, when they called the foul. I think they called it right there. Leonard put it up and in. He wants the basket to count. Not that it matters. The Toronto Raptors, a terrific team all season long. Second best record in the NBA. A new coach, a new star. A number of new players. All season long, you knew they were a good team. But in the East, it was teams like Boston and Milwaukee and Philadelphia that were the more popular picks to get to the finals but Toronto just kept getting better and better all season long led by the brilliance of Kawhi Leonard and here they are about to be crowned NBA champions and the two point guard for Toronto 48 combined points Fred Van Vliet 22 points 12 of them in the fourth quarter showed true grit and toughness this entire series. And how about Kyle Lowry? 26 points, 10 assists, 7 rebounds. The longest tenured Raptor. He was such a part of all the tortured playoff history this team has had. Often at the hands of LeBron James and the Cavaliers. And this year getting to play in his first NBA Finals and here in the clincher with a spectacular performance. And Mike, how about Kawhi Leonard? Folks took their shots at him. Folks questioned him. They questioned his competitive spirit, how healthy is what he was. He didn't have to de defend himself with words. He decide, decided to do it with his actions and his play on the court. And he has turned this franchise into a champion. It was a bold move, a bold trade by Masai Ujiri because he is an unrestricted free agent. And, and their chance, the, the Warriors, is miss, make one, miss the second, throw it in. And that's why I'd have Steph Curry on the free throw line. Well, Leonard could seal it at the line as he hits the first. You know it's over, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're still coaching. Crowd still here hoping for a miracle. Also here to cheer on. Leonard makes it official. Now the Warriors just inbound, and that's it. There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. The Raptors, the 2019 NBA champs.
Such respect from these two teams as they battled so hard for six games and Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors emerge victorious where it's hard to calculate the impact this team will have in Toronto and throughout Canada. The popularity of the NBA and of basketball has skyrocketed reach it in recent years. And future generations of Raptor fans will always tell the story of this 2019 team, their first title in franchise history. What a year for Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors. What a game tonight and what a finals as Leonard leads Toronto to the NBA championship. But he had plenty of help tonight. Pascal Siakam, the young man from Cameroon with 26 points and 10 rebounds.